Imaginable heartbreak in a Chester community at the 4200 block of Laurel Brook Road. A mother, her four year old twins, a boy and a girl, and a 13 year old daughter all shot to death inside their home early this morning. Police telling us this afternoon they developed a suspect pretty quickly, identified as Jonah Adams. He was the father of the twins. Police say he came to the house around four in the morning. My sources tell me Joanna Cotty saw him outside wearing some sort of a camouflage mask, and then she called 911. She saw him on the outside first. Um, we don't know if she was already awake or what caused her to, to see him, but she saw him outside first. Um, and, and she maintained contact with us. Um, and obviously, we could hear shots fired and the phone line went solid. The feds able to arrest Adams in Maryland this afternoon. He's been charged with four counts of first degree murder. Obviously, it's been a heavy day for family and friends, for first responders to the dispatcher who took the original 911 call, hearing those shots fired uh, on that call. Neighbors also saddened by the news. That's where my colleague Cameron Thompson picks up the story. It's just sad that this has had to happen. An array of feelings swept over those living along Laurel Oak Road Friday as they awoke to find their neighborhood swarming with police. It's just kind of scary. As officers descended on this home for a report of a disturbance, only to find the bodies of a mother and her three children inside. As I let the dog out, there's two officers walking through our yard, um, I guess looking for to see if anybody had cameras. They asked if we had any outside cameras. John Schisler lives one block down and says while he didn't have any video, he told officers he heard something shortly before five that was out of character. Just thought I heard a car rolling down the road a little faster than normal for that time of night and in this neighborhood. Well, Candy Hirsch says there was nothing out of the ordinary on her cameras, but her husband told police about hearing something as well. My husband heard three things. We thought somebody was breaking into cars or something. And while neighbors offered what information they could to help police with their investigation, they also grieved for the victims. Nobody wanted this. Nobody wanted this. As Nicole Rogers Powell said she'd been crying and praying since finding out and wondering why. I just wish this, this, I just wish this world wasn't as bad as it is. <laughs> I'm so sorry that these babies are gone. <laughs> And that was our Cameron Thompson reporting there. Be sure to download the free CBS 6 app, by the way. That's where you'll find updates on this investigation as soon as we learn more about it.